Now we're going to talk about unique cafe trends here in South Korea. For that, I'm glad to say we have our Yoon Jong Min in the studio joining us this morning. Uh, wonderful to have you with us. So normally when we think of run-of-the-mill uh, coffee shops, we think of just regular cafes. But in Seoul and other cities around South Korea, there are a lot of unique trends going on. Well, yes, Mark. Well, as more people in South Korea drink more and more coffee, well, not just the menus, but the cafes themselves are changing too. So um, people don't go to cafes for just Americano or latte, but rather to take a rest, uh, read, or even enjoy artwork while having a beverage. Yeah. So responding to these demands, coffee shops are changing into uh, very places with various concepts. For example, there are these botanical garden cafes. A coffee shop in downtown Seoul displays a variety of plants at the shop to provide a more pleasant environment for their customers. People can relax while enjoying the fresh air. Here I see more green plants and other shops and it's spacious and quiet. I often visit here because I can feel fresh air thanks to the plants. The customer can also buy plants at the coffee shop. These days, more people don't just consume products but want a better service. That's why many shops care more about interior design. They say it's equally important to provide quality products and leave a good impression on customers. And cafes are becoming a nice place for emotional healing in the busy city. Well, it's easy to see why demand is rising so much for these new types of cafes here in uh, Seoul, you might pay a bit more for a cup of coffee, but it's worth it to be in nicer surroundings. You mentioned there were a number of unique trends going on uh, here in South Korea in regards to cafe culture. So what else do you have for us? So um, now I, I want to talk a little bit about gallery cafes. So uh, people visit these coffee shops when they want to enjoy artworks and uh, talk about them with others. So as you can see in the video there, uh, paintings are lined up alongside a corridor. You might wonder whether this place is an art gallery, but in fact it's a coffee shop. Customers say they like the idea that they can enjoy cultural life at a nearby coffee shop. People usually go to art galleries to enjoy paintings, but here I can enjoy them with coffee. I came here to see paintings with some drinks. This place is divided into the exhibition section and the cafe section. Here our customers can get emotional healing with artworks. The garden is also nice here, so I hope this place to be shared by many people. The shop also sells the paintings too, and the exhibition plans by different painters are updated. Also, some groups regularly gather at the shop to read books together for a discussion. So now the coffee shop is even functioning as a place to talk and learn. Well, it really is becoming like a double function then. Uh, you can drink coffee but also purchase plants or paintings as well sure. if you want, if you go to one of these cafes. And I guess the reason they're doing this is because these cafes want to find their own uh, slice of the market and they want to provide different services to their customers. Yeah, you're right, Mark. So uh, these cafes are changing into more uh, more different concepts uh, other than that, like, well, study rooms. Mm. So we can say it's already a part of their marketing strategy. Yeah. And uh, take a listen to when what an expert thinks. There are already a number of cafes in Korea, so they have to be competitive. More coffee shops are changing into a nice place for a rest and a chat. They want to provide more premium services than other shops. Experts say this trend will keep growing as there will be more and more demand from customers seeking quality service. Well, I think it's uh, the case where with all these franchises taking over South Korea in terms of the coffee industry, they have to differentiate themselves mm. from those and bring in the customers by using these different kind of ideas. Jungmin, as always, it was a pleasure and uh, thank you for bringing in that information today. Well, my pleasure. Thank you, Mark.